Hi, and welcome to this session on advanced group policy management. So for the next couple of minutes we're going to talk about this product which allows us to do more advanced management when it comes down to group policies. This is also a product that is part of the MDOP um, family if you like and which is very specific to group policies. So let's get started. So what are, the, what are we going to talk about? Well, we'll start with a very quick overview of what we can actually do with this uh, AGPM product. And finally, when we get through all those uh, specifications, we'll have a look at how we are well, going to install the server component, the client component. We'll have a look at some of the well, specific features that it offers, such as role-based delegation which is a very crucial element for um, advanced group policy management. We'll have a look at some of the uh, new concepts you should understand about to deal or to work with uh, AGPM. And uh, linked to the role-based delegation will be the workflow. A workflow that allows us to create a group policy as an, an admin or as an editor, which will then uh, get um, checked out to a specific editor. Uh, once he's pleased with those settings, he would check it back in, request for approval, and then um, some uh, specific person dedicated with a specific role would actually deploy that into production. So let's get started with a quick overview of what AGPM is really about. Now, AGPM in the end. Um, allows us to do more advanced uh, management of our group policies. Now advanced meaning that we can move away from this all or nothing model. The all where you're a domain admin and you're capable of uh, administering all group policies or the none where you're a simple user and uh, you can actually do nothing with a group policy. So uh, with AGPM uh, we're capable of doing role-based administration that based on a role that you get assigned within the product you're capable of doing specific um, functionality, specific uh, administration tasks for one or more group policies. That behind this role-based model there actually sits some kind of a workflow process that even allows you to um, do requests for uh, editing, for uh, deployment, etc. Now, something that is also quite crucial for advanced group policy management is that none of the um, administration that you're doing is actually taking place in a live environment, in production. So everything that we're doing is happening uh, offline is happening in this archive that we're going to create um, selective on the policies that we want to control, that we want to manage. But any setting, any modification that we make for such a group policy will at all times happen offline in the archive. This offers many um, advantages and many possibilities. One of the advantages is that we're also going to track every change that you make as a separate version of that group policy, allowing us to do a versioning, allowing us to roll back if necessary to a previous version, and even allowing us to um, report to you back the differences that um, uh, are introduced between one version and another of a group policy. So at all times we're going to work offline in the archive. You also find some other uh, functionalities such as templates, it's templates that um, are already available in the default group policy management console that have a couple of limitations. Well, those limitations have been uh, overcome with the AGPM templates, uh, as we call it. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at the architecture. This is quite crucial to understand um, how AGPM actually works. Uh, surely if just in a second we're going to um, install the server and the client component, it's important to understand where they are located in the uh, overall architecture. So in the end, on the right side, we have production. You have this one or more domain controllers. 
on which your group policies live in the sysvol. And so what we're going to do uh, with the AGPM server, which you see on the, on the left side, is actually this will be our archive. And so we're going to actually copy selectively all of or some of the group policy objects that live in production into this archive. Now so that at this time uh, the server component, the AGPM server, can offer us these policies offline for direct editing. And so from the client perspective, which is nothing more than a simple GPMC that we're going to extend with the AGPM client component, we're going to do the editing of those group policies. But at all times we're doing the editing inside the archive, meaning offline. So we have no impact, uh, these changes have no impact on production until we want them to have an impact on production until we decide to deploy them back out to production. But again, at all times we maintain copies of these group policies, we maintain this kind of history that allows us to go back to previous versions, that allows us to look at the settings or the difference between uh, those versions in the history.